if you're a high performing man, if you're an athlete, a high achiever, you want to be performing at the highest level mentally, physically. If you have a big presentation, a big meeting, a big sporting event, you need to be dialed the fuck in. Well, you definitely don't want to be ejaculating that morning, maybe not even the day or two days before, because that will negatively affect your performance mentally, physically. You'll be more foggy headed, less clear. You're going to have lower energy, lower testosterone, less drive, which will affect you when it comes to showing up and presenting yourself in the best way possible. Because science shows us that after sexual satiety, after ejaculation, there's a period of 72 hours where your androgen receptors are less responsive. A research study by Romano Torres discovered that after sexual satiety, there's a drop in androgen receptor density in the areas of the brain responsible for sexual drive and testosterone upregulation. This is the medial preoptic area and the ventral medial hypothalamic nucleus of the brain. So this shows us that it's not just about reductions in testosterone. It's that the problem being your testosterone is less effective. Your body doesn't use testosterone efficiently for up to three days. So it doesn't matter how high your testosterone levels are. If you're taking exogenous testosterone, TRT, this is less important than your androgen receptors being optimized and responsive to testosterone spoke in a video recently about optimizing your androgen receptors on what the androgen receptors are, how to increase density, sensitivity, and how to increase agonist activity of those receptors. You can check out that video and actually talk at length in the Power Pelvis Protocol, my men's health accelerator, which is a program released last month. There's still spots in it. You can join that and get some details in the link in the description below. In this video, we're speaking to specifically this window of 72 hours after ejaculation. And I just realized the hair here is, but in the scope of this video, we're speaking to the specific 72 hour window after ejaculation, where we see a down regulation of androgen receptor activity, along with a reduction in testosterone. If you're a high performing man, if you're an athlete, a high achiever, you want to be performing at the highest level mentally, physically, you need to be dialed the fuck in. Well, you definitely don't want to be ejaculating that morning, maybe not even the day or two days before, because that will negatively affect your performance. You'll be more foggy headed, less clear. You're going to have lower energy, lower testosterone, less drive, which will affect you when it comes to showing up and presenting yourself in the best way possible. So how can we work with this? Well, the most simple way that you can circumnavigate these negative effects is to simply just not ejaculate for those 72 hours leading up to that event. This means you can still engage in sexual activity. And in fact, if you engage in sexual activity and you continue to say, play with the edging and you increase your activity, yet you're circulating the energy to not go over the edge and ejaculate. Well, this actually stokes your testosterone level and will actually upregulate some of this energy and can increase your performance as long as you don't go over the edge to orgasm. So one, semen retention, practice retention. Two, if you can't handle engaging in sexual activity without going over the edge, then you might just wanna refrain from this. So it's less about your testosterone levels and more about the optimal functioning of your androgen receptors. So if you have high testosterone, but you have shitty diet, you're not training, bad sleep, well, your androgen receptors are not going to be optimized and they're not going to be as responsive to testosterone. So really dialing in your habits is going to be step number one. If you have your habits dialed in, your androgen receptors are optimized, well, then increasing your testosterone and being able to say, do everything else right is going to help you to be fully dialed the fuck in. So if you're one of the guys that doesn't know how to practice circulating sexual energy, using the breath, breathing into the balls, utilizing some of the strategies we talk about in the ultimate guide to semen retention, talk about in the PP protocol, you may simply want to abstain from any sexual activity prior to an important event, prior to an important performance. If you're one of the guys that have been on the channel or that is in the PP protocol or 
using the techniques in the ultimate guide to semen retention, then you have the tools in order to circulate this energy in order to say, stoke the fire, increase your testosterone without actually going over the edge to orgasm. This can actually work in your favor when you can practice retention while engaging in sexual activity. This is where you can unlock that next level of dominating the bedroom or higher level of performance because you've been able to tap into circulating your sexual energy. And like I've talked about in other videos, this energy is highly creative. You can use it to create life or you can transmute it and use it to create something else. And this is what we talk about in the PP protocol we talk about in other videos on the channel is utilizing this energy, cultivating this energy, circulating this and using this to unlock the highest level of performance in life. You can use this in relationships, in business and athletic performance. That's what we talk about here. So if you're not on those tools, that path yet, I encourage you to check out some of the free resources and start to practice some of these tools and techniques. You can also get the free testosterone optimization course where I talk about the seven strategies I use to increase my testosterone by 404% completely naturally. You can check that out for free in the link in the description below. Guys, it's really important to be aware that there is this effect that takes place 72 hours after ejaculation where you're going to experience this lull. And I know many of you who are already engaging in these practices, you've experienced this, a dip in your drive, your motivation, more foggy headed. This is all, this is all well known, but scientifically, for 72 hours afterwards, this is why this happens. And this also shows us how this relationship with testosterone works, what this does to your testosterone. And I put out a video a couple months back that talked about how seven days of abstinence, of practicing re retention for seven days. On day seven, there's a peak, an increase in testosterone by 145% above baseline. So this is where we can quantify the effects of of semen retention, of abstinence, of what happens to your testosterone, to the effects of your brain, and these areas of the brain that are responsible for your sexual drive, for your motivation, for upregulation of testosterone. This is where we can get into some of the nuances of how to actually dial in your performance at the highest level. If you know you have an important event coming up on, say, Thursday and today's Monday, well, you know, today you can probably ejaculate and be okay, but the closer that you get to that event, the less likely you're going to perform at a high level if you do ejaculate. Versus if you know you have a big event coming up in, say, a week from now, well, if you practice retention starting today and you schedule that event or you prime your body with those habits of retention for seven days up to that event, you know that once you get to day seven, you're going to be feeling pretty fucking good. You're going to have high energy. You're going to have the higher testosterone levels, a little more drive, a little more sexual energy because you've been able to refrain and abstain that. And now you're able to use that in these performances. This I know it's not for everyone, but for those guys who are high achievers that really do want to operate at the highest level, this is one of those practices. And this can also be applied to your nutrition. If you know you have a certain event coming up, well, you don't want to eat shitty food leading up to that. You want to give your body the nutrients and be fully dialed in. Just like if you know you have a, a big speech or a presentation, an important meeting. If you go into that meeting and you've had nothing but high amounts of carbohydrates that morning, the night before, well, your body's still going to be in that carbohydrate state. You're going to be foggy headed. You're going to be bogged down. There's going to be more blood in your guts digesting that rather than if you would have had just more fat, protein, kept the carbs a little bit lower. If you did that, you'd be more clear headed, have higher energy levels. And this is where you can tap into optimizing your physiology based on your day to day practices, habits, and your lifestyle. So more on that later, guys, check out the free resources in the link in the description below. If you want to check out the ultimate guide to semen retention, you could get the link there. Free testosterone optimization course. Check out the men's power pelvis protocol. Again, this is the men's health accelerator. You can check out a link there. 
If you want to work with me one on one in executive gains coaching, you can check out the executive gains method where we take guys all the way from base level over six month period to do DEXA scans, blood labs, genetic texting, and then I help you to ultimately get into peak physical condition and unlock your peak physique.